The St. Paul's pilgrimage to Scotland and England was amazing and transformational. We followed in the steps of St. Columba, St. Cuthbert, and the Venerable Bede to learn early church history. We learned this history through architecture, stories, and relics on Iona, Lindisfarne, Jarrow, Durham, and York. I don't think I will ever forget the island of Iona and the beautiful flowers that grew there. Not only were there some unusual species that I hadn't seen before, but they were growing up out of the priory ruins and the nunnery ruins. And there's just something so timeless and spiritual about those bare stone walls that really aren't bare anymore because there's life growing up out of them. There were rose-covered cottages, just like you imagine, and there were beautiful organic gardens with artichokes. And I think it just cemented to me what a, a perfect capsule in time and place Iona is. In Iona, at the service on Sunday that we went to at the Abbey there, in one of the prayers, it called us to accept the promised presence of Christ. and. That wording stuck with me and really resonated with, with me. And in every place he visited, I felt a God moment. And almost, I can see God, how he worked in Christ through every aspect of our trip. And it moved me to tears because traveling, you, you get to see how great God is. Looking at the Highland Mountains, Durham Cathedral, York Minster, like choir, Everything, you can just see how he worked so well. My favorite memory in Scotland was on Iona climbing the hill that we had set out to climb since the first day that we arrived and finally getting up there and fully feeling the thin air that Iona let us all experience and just getting to do that together with a group of people that I had gotten so close to. I think it was a great chance to see some of the more historical churches, kind of the origins of where we came from. I mean, you know, there, what old to us maybe means 200 years, but there it's thousands. And I just think you can't really understand that until you see it. Something that I've gained was being exposed to different cultures and ancient traditions. And through these encounters, we got to celebrate our differences and connect with each other. Being inside those churches, really, it's just, they're great examples of monuments to God. Being inside them, you just feel the might of not only God, but also just Christianity as a whole. One of my favorite aspects about the whole trip itself was having that truth in air experience. And there were so many moments. Um, there were a lot that when we were on Iona and hiking in the nature, or when we were in the Durham Cathedral, taking a, like a VIP, tour of the second floor or when we were in the York Minster and they were playing the organs and the choir was singing and it was just echoing throughout the whole cathedral. But it's the little unexpected experiences that make up lifelong memories, like Wilder popping the big flower in his mouth, the creation of Morgan and Morgan, and seeing the incredible double rainbow arching over the North Sea. I think one of my favorite memories from the trip was being able to explore the cathedrals and learning about all the history and interesting facts behind it. This trip itself really just brought me closer in my relationship with God and I'm just so blessed and thankful to everybody who contributed and helped us get there because it's a, a trip I'll never forget. This trip truly changed my life by revealing different parts of me that I never would have known without experiencing in a broad trip, but specifically a trip that focused so much on personal growth and my spiritual journey. Scotland forever!